Hey guys, it's Cameron Sharp here. We've got uh, a house that we just finished up. It's uh, Victorian in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, as you can take a look, we repainted the outside, replaced the windows, put in a new front door. Let's go take a look on the inside. Some of you have seen the before video of this house. If you haven't, I'd recommend go watch that before video and uh, and take a look at all the work that we've done. I mean, we've this, this house really came together nicely. Um, as you can see, let's start in here on the main level. We've staged the home with furniture, which we do on most of our homes. It just helps uh, use the space wisely. Now, this wall right here, we add, we, we expanded this wall. It was, uh, it was just a man door right there. And we took out the whole kitchen and replaced that. Uh, painted in here, of course. Um, we kept this uh, this nice chandelier. That's one of the original pieces of the house. This is a 1904 Victorian. Uh, really nice little charmer, as you can see here on the main floor. This would be, you know, kind of your living room here. Let's come back here to the bathroom. Really nice. This was just a little teeny bathroom. Um, the entrance to the bathroom used to be right here through the kitchen. Actually, over here where the bathtub is, that used to be a closet. Uh, so we really did some expansion here and made the bathroom a little bit more workable as well as uh, more functional, but also make it bigger. You know, there's some things that you can add to houses that are going to increase the comfort level from a selling standpoint. However, they're not going to increase your appraised value. We'll talk a little bit more about that, but let's go upstairs. Now, we've got uh, three bedrooms up here. Just beautiful, isn't it? We've got uh, three bedrooms up here above the main level. We also have a bedroom down in the basement. Let's turn the lights on over here first. Let's back up a little. We'll show you, uh, we got a cute little landing right there. Isn't that cute? Over here we got another bathroom upstairs. As you can see, just really nice. New tile, new bath, new toilet, new vanities, new, new everything. We added uh, central air, central heating, Pretty much everything in this house is new. We've updated the electrical, the lighting. Got another bedroom here. And then we have the third bedroom right here. This is kind of considered the master bedroom or a master loft. We added this closet right here. If you remember the before video, this was just one big, ugly, empty room. But now, it's a very pretty master bedroom. Very charming, that's the upstairs. This window here, that used to be our swamp cooler, right there. As you come down the stairs here though, you look out the window, there we've added some, some central air. Again, that's one of those items that, you know, you can have a swamp cooler, central air. It's not gonna necessarily increase the appraised value too much, but, you know, people wanna have some of those comfort items. You know, when you, when you know what's gonna increase your appraised value, and what's not going to increase your appraised value, what people want to see in a home, what they don't want to see in a home, that's going to help you determine what you can put in it, as well as be able to stay on somewhat of a tight budget. Here we have the laundry room. We'll go in here and then turn around. Stairs, to going downstairs, out to the backyard. And then we have the kitchen from the laundry room. Here's our backyard here. We're just going to peek out the window. We've got a nice deck. You know, the backyard's not in the best of shape, but somebody's going to look at that and say to themselves, hey, you know what? I'm going to plant me a vegetable garden and some grass. And we're going to let them. So let's go downstairs here. We'll turn, turn on the lights here so you're not in the darkness. Now, this down here was all uh, shelf basement. Uh, it was really, really unkept, all concrete. And what we did was some ninja designing down here to rearrange everything. We moved some drains, added some walls, uh, added that window in there. This is our bedroom down here. We leveled out the floor, added some can lighting, closet, new carpet. As you can see, it just looks really nice. Now, this could either be a family room or an additional bedroom. This house is technically a four-bedroom, two-bath. In here, we've got... Got our new furnace, King Konga furnaces. We added new, new duct work. You can kind of see the shelf basement. That's what the whole basement looked like in the past. We got our new water heater here. Some of our leftover paint. 
but really, really nice. I'll step back here so you can kind of get a bird's eye view of the basement here. Just really nice and functional. You know, back when we started, this basement was, I mean, pretty much unusable except for storage. And now we've made it into a bedroom. You know, adding a bedroom and adding some additional square footage, that will increase your appraised value. I know there's a lot of people out there that think, you know, if I put in all these uh, comfort items, it's going to increase my appraised value. That's not necessarily the case. You have to know what's going to increase your appraisal and what's not, and then determine where you want to focus your budget. You know, most people will say, yeah, I want to be able to have it appraised as high as possible, but at the same time, you also need the house to sell to a homeowner. So that's important to consider as you're out there doing this stuff is what are you going to add to it what, you, what are you not going to add to it? And then take into consideration your budget. I see a lot of people putting way too much stuff into their properties and then not being able to get the appraised value out of it. And guess what happens? It means they usually um, lose money, right? You see over here we got some candies. I always like to get a little candy. We put some candy out for people coming and looking at the house, but it's also for people like me who come back in and take pictures, right? So one last view. We... We stage our houses, you know, it's an additional expense. However, you know, you don't have to do it. I sold houses that were staged and some that weren't. But as you can see, you can really understand the functionality of the space that we've created. And when you put in some furniture, you have a professional come in and help you design the space. People walk in here and, and they can really see what the house is gonna look like if they lived here, which is really important and it helps the selling feature. Now when people come in, look at our house and they look at a competitor's house maybe down the street, we want our house to be uh, on the top of their list of homes that they want to live in. When we furnish it, that helps us do that. So, you know, stay tuned. We've got a lot of projects we're going on right now. Very profitable if you know what you're doing. And um, we'll, we'll show you some more and give you some tips. Um, feel free to go to our website, learn more about what we do and what we can offer you. And and see how you could possibly be a part of our team and benefit in some of this, this fun profit that we make out of investing in real estate. It's one of the best ways to go. I do this full-time, by the way. And if you want to do it full-time, you know, learn more about us, contact us, and we'll show you how to do that. So one last view here. Beautiful house. Take it easy, everyone.